Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? Welcome back to What's the Difference? I am Professor Dave. Today we are looking at a pair of award-winning compact crossover SUVs. And they are the 2017 Honda CRV and 2017 Subaru Forester. Today we're going to be looking at some data points. This is strictly looking at numbers that will help tell a story, paint a picture about what's the difference between these two vehicles. And these are very popular among uh, drivers in the US, especially over here in uh, the Pacific Northwest where I live. Now, when I say award-winning, the Forester was named Motor Trends SUV of the Year in 2009 and 2014. The CRV earned that title in 2015. By the way, do you know what CRV stands for? I will tell you the answer at the end of this video, a little trivia for you. I didn't know what it was until I was doing some more research. And I love crunching these numbers because when you do a lot of research for your car that you're about to drive, you want to know as much information as possible. Of course, you end up having to do a test drive to make your final decision. But I think numbers like this and my reviews can help point you in the right direction. So let's go ahead and go over these data points. And I've been adjusting these data points based on your suggestions, which means if you have a suggestion on an upcoming comparison video, let me know in the comment section below. I am listening to you and I've made some adjustments. For one, I am no longer looking at trim levels. Getting rid of those because every car has different trim levels between three and seven trim levels. Who cares about that? We're going to focus on some other points here. And I've added wheelbase and in this case ground clearance so let's go ahead and go down the list of these and hopefully tell a story about what's the difference between the crv and the forester let us begin with the honda crv two engine options in fact both of these vehicles both have a turbo so beginning with a 2.4 liter four cylinder let's put it like that this one gets 184 horses 180 pound-feet of torque. I'll put it like that. There's also a 1.5 liter turbo. I'll just, okay, there we go. Turbo four-cylinder. This pumps out 190 and 179 pound-feet of torque. Available in two-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. And the transmission, CVT. So that's what you're dealing with the Honda CRV. Now, let's move over to the Forester. Also, two engine options. I'm going to change colors here. Hopefully, this will stand out for you. 2.5 liter four cylinder. This one, 170, 174. You've got a six speed manual transmission as well as a CVT on this one. There's the L for that one. Now, here is your turbo, two liter turbo, four cylinder. Now, check out these numbers. 250 in the horsepower, 258 on the torque and CVT, and with all Subarus, all-wheel drive is standard. So we put all-wheel drive right there. Now we're going to move on to miles per gallon, and this is the best-case scenario uh, based on the engine that gives you that. So moving my pens over, best-case scenario for miles per gallon on your CRV is 28 city right there and 34 highway for an average of 30. remember that number right there now this one is based on the turbo so if you want the best case scenario with fuel economy you get the turbo and it'll get you those numbers right there on the other side of the aisle you're looking at 26 city 32 highway for a mixed driving number of 29. And for that one, you're looking at the 2.5 liter. That'll give you these best fuel economy numbers. So they're not quite hitting 30. They want to, but they're not. So there's a little bit of difference with your fuel economy number. Now, I'm going to make more room here. Let's bring it down for a fuel tank. I find this interesting just because it's a stat and there is a difference between fuel tank sizes. So fuel tank let's put it over here 14 gallons now I, I just it just seems interesting to me why they do that because we have a 15.6 gallon fuel tank over here maybe it save you time on filling up now i love this stat because people don't want to fill up that often boy these are this is terrible the way i'm doing this right now 392 miles city best case scenario 
based on your fuel economy there. And best case, 476 highway. That's if you go with this one. That's what you'll get on average. That's what they say is your maximum. Over here, changing pens, range. I got to work on my spacing here. 365 city, 429 highway based on the 2.5 liter four cylinder. So pretty close. You're going to get some uh, more bang for buck here on the CRV. And interesting, you have a smaller fuel tank. So a smaller fuel tank, better fuel economy numbers. Towing is basically the same, same as the ground, the um, curb weight. They're both about the same. I'm just gonna put them over here because they're about 3,400 pounds is what the curb weight is. And they both can tow around 1,500 pounds. That's a push, okay? I need, the, I need to make some room. That's partly why I'm doing that. So ground clearance. I like this one because I've gone off on I've gone off road in the CRV a number of times, and there's two different numbers actually. There's a 7.8 inches, and that's a uh, laden. So if it's not weighed down, or if it is weighed down, then you only get 7.8 inches. Otherwise, you're looking at 8.2 inches of ground clearance in the CRV, and the Subaru kicks it 8.7. So that's what you're looking at for ground clearance. Does it matter to you? We'll see. Okay, let's look at the width, length, and wheelbase. I've added this third element to my data stats, my data points. Width, I think this is really gonna start to shake things out. So width, 73 inches, 180.6 inches long, and a wheelbase of 104.7. Whoever it is who suggests a wheelbase, thank you, and here it is on our board. Now we're looking at, change colors, 70.7, 180.9, and 103.9. Anything stand out to you? Not a lot. Um, you, got, you got a little wider vehicle here with the CRV just by two and a half inches. Otherwise, length is the same. Wheelbase, you know, six inches there. Not a big deal. Okay, passenger volume. How do these two manufacturers utilize the interior, not just for passengers, but for cargo room. I find, I find this the most interesting between these two cars, not the most interesting, but one of the most interesting things. So passenger volume, we'll go with the red here on this side. Looking at 105.9. This is, um, I'll put a three right there. That means cubic feet of volume. Okay, I'll just put cubic feet. Okay, got that? 108. 0.3 cubic feet of passenger volume. So almost three more cubic feet of volume for the Subaru. Will that matter when it comes to cargo volume? Watch this. This is 39.2 cubic feet of volume behind the back row of seats. So all seats, all five passengers in the car, that's how much room you have behind the back row of seats. You fold it down, now you're looking at 75.8 cubic feet of volume. Okay, watch how this shakes out. 31.5, 68.5. What a huge difference. How is it that they've got you know, a little bit more passenger volume, but the cargo volume is sacrificed? You know, you're only getting extra two and a half cubic feet of volume or so with the Forester, and then you're losing quite a bit when it comes to cargo volume. I might just go this route so I can have more storage. But you, you're gonna have to you know, go in there and do your whole leg room and headroom samples yourself. Okay, here it is, the final verdict. Drum roll, please. What is the price difference between these two? This two is kind of close. We're looking at 24K for the base trim level up to about 33.7. And then you can do extras and stuff. But that's the base MSRP range on the CRV. On this side, really close. Just a couple thousand dollars. Um, you know, a little bit more expensive to get into a CRV, uh, but it caps off. It's pretty close. So, looking back, as we step back and see the picture that I have drawn here on the whiteboard for you on what's the difference between these two award-winning SUVs. 
What stands out to you? I think the power here for the Forester, if you go with a two, uh, two liter turbo, you're getting some big muscle there. Now, fuel economy, you're suffering a little bit on the right-hand side, maybe because of what? Not quite sure. You got a bigger fuel tank, but you're getting uh, more range on the CRV. I think with length and wheelbase, pretty much the same. Passenger volume starts to really speak to how they've organized the car, and then cargo volume speaks to me as well, and price point, pretty decent. These are really closely matched vehicles, and that's why you know, in 2014, the Forester wins SUV of the year. The next year, CRV steps it up and they win it. There you go. That's the difference in terms of numbers between these two five passenger, four door, compact crossover SUVs. That's the category. So, what does CRV stand for? Yeah, you know, you're looking at that going, what does that mean? Comfortable roundabout vehicle comfortable roundabout vehicle, Honda CRV. There you go, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have any suggestions on other compact crossover SUVs you'd like me to do a what's the difference comparison on, let me know in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, until the next time, I am Professor Dave, and this has been What's the Difference. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting every man driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number. 844-765-0610 and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.